What's shaking fire nation JLD here with an audio masterclass on how to create your own TV show to boost your brand influence and income and to drop these value bombs. I have brought Brandon T Adams. He's an award winning producer and co-host of success in your city, a TV series on a mission to redefine the meaning of success. He's also a keynote speaker, podcaster, producer, author, and publisher of the magazine Accelerant. And Fire Nation, today we'll be answering questions such as, can anyone create their own TV show and should they? How do you fund the production of your show? What are the most feasible ways to distribute your show? How can you benefit financially? And what other benefits come from the creation of your own TV show? And so much more, Fire Nation, as soon as we get back from thinking our sponsors. Thinkific is the best platform to create, market, and sell your online courses. And we speak from three years of personal experience. Right now, you can sign up for one month free on the Thinkific Pro Plan, plus leverage over $1,000 worth of training bonuses. Just visit thinkific.com slash fire. Thinkific.com slash fire. The One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels supports you from day one through day 30 to help you get your funnel live in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel. Brandon, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. What is up, Fire Nation? You know, looking into something interesting about myself is I actually grew up in an ice business. I grew up in a business where I sold frozen water for a living. And yes, you can make money at that. And it's it's just crazy. I grew up in a small town of 700 people and we sold packaged ice and, and going to now speaking and producing TV shows. I don't think there's another person out there that hosts TV shows that was previously in the ice business. <laughs> if you're out there, Fire Nation, reach out, call Brandon out, let him know that he's not alone. And <laughs> he gave a little tease, obviously, about what we're talking about today. I also talked about it in the intro as well. It's, this is all about how to create your own TV show, Fire Nation, which of course will boost your brand, your influence, and your income. And I just love the fact that we live in this world where we can literally say that phrase. And it is 1,000 percent possible. I mean, anybody that's hearing my voice and Brandon's voice can create their very own TV show. We're not saying everybody should create their own TV show, but I'm saying you live in a time and an age where you can if you want to. And that's just unbelievable. That's amazing. The opportunities are so abundant, Fire Nation. So Brandon, let's dive into the meat and potatoes and just say, first off, we know that anybody can create their own show, but why should they? Here's what it comes down to, storytelling. You look at video, you look at shows, it tells a great story. And you look at for thousands of years, stories have been told from whether you're talking about the Bible, you're talking about speakers, Gandhi, you look at Martin Luther King. Storytelling is powerful. And when you can utilize video or a TV show to tell a story, it's even more impactful. People can see it, they can hear it, they can feel it, they get that emotional tension. And what that ultimately does is allows you to track more opportunities for your business, whether it's more speaking gigs, more coaching clients, or or more products sold. Because people buy they, they buy into your story and, and who you are and what you stand for. And it's so important in today's day and age, it, it's easier than ever. I mean, John, we were talking before, like you're on Instagram stories and right. I was following your journey when you were with Tony Robbins and, and I, I document my own life. And, you know, we all have this opportunity and going before we go into the actual deep depth of creating a full out production TV show that can be on TV. We're looking, look at your own stories, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Snapchat, document your life who you are, what you do, what you work on, that ultimately is your own rally TV show. It really is. And when you can reach hundreds, thousands, or even millions every day, I mean, even you look at hundreds of people, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people that you can impact and that exponentially grows. And again, people are building like and trust with you and you got to entertain them, have some fun, show them the things that you know, but also do some crazy stuff in the process. But looking in the actual TV show side of things is I, the reason why I saw the power of it is when I, I had done an event in 2016, that which you were at, Young Entrepreneur yeah. Convention, and, and Greg Roulette came up and he told me about doing a show. 
It was called Ambitious Adventures. And that was my first time really getting introduced to it. And when we signed that deal and, and going forward, all the TV shows I ever created, I never had a network deal in place. I literally, what I did is utilize my crowdfunding background to help fund the show. And then we went and shot it. And then we worked our way to get the distribution, which most people don't do, but it's very possible. So the first thing I would say is if you're going to do that, if you're going to actually create the show, for one, you need a great cinematographer, and that's somebody who's going to film it, a great director cinematographer, somebody that can direct it, film it, and create the actual story. And usually that person may even be the editor because at the end of the day, the editor is who's going to really decide how it's going to look. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of transitions, special effects, all these different things that – you and I don't know how to do. We just know how to be in front of the camera. But these people spend so many hours dedicating to their their mastering this craft and creating this story. And the next thing is creating, finding great stories, finding things that people want to hear. So as you as Entrepreneur on Fire, you're bringing massive value to your audience and you're interviewing entrepreneurs. So that you could actually go and turn that into a TV show. Now you look at um, – for me, I've done a lot of stuff with travel, traveling the country and figuring out what success is. It's showing travel. It's showing inside the life of myself and now my wife and also showing the people we're learning from. That's a TV show. So think about whatever the thing you want to create, what does you want people to learn from it? That's what you got to know. What is the content? You can't just go. I mean, it's one thing when you're doing Gary V style and just filming everything inside your life. But if you're actually want to be very particular on what is you want people to learn from you, what's the takeaways? What do you want them to be inspired by? And then once you know what that is, find the stories that can fill that and share it with the world through your show. Fire Nation, I truly believe the worst advice out there, and I mean the worst advice out there, is fake it till you make it. Nobody wants inauthenticity. You can smell that a mile away. Don't fake it till you make it document, 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 document. Because when you do what Brand is talking about and you're just documenting your journey, guess what? People are gonna be very much aware that, hey, you're on a journey, just like everybody's on a journey. Go back to my first 100 episodes. I was on a journey of going from being a really, really crappy podcast host to a not-so-crappy podcast host, and then 200 to 500 going from a not-so-crappy to a kind of decent podcast host, and so on and so forth. I was on this journey just documenting it for the world to see, and that is the reality, Fire Nation. You can take and document your journey and take your audience along there with you, just like I took Brandon and, and whoever else follows me on Instagram to Fiji to hang out with Tony Robbins and Dean and Russell and Lewis and Jenna Kucher and Billie Jean and all the other amazing people that were there, I was documenting. So don't fake it till you make it. We can smell that a mile away. Nobody wants it. Just open up your journey, open up your heart, open up your entire business and let people join you on this journey. Now, let's be honest, Brandon, 99.9% .9 of us, and that's me included, we're not going to have a network deal prior to filming. So where would we begin in that stage? Yeah, you're right. 99.9% .9 of you will not have a network deal prior. And the beginning process and just why that is, I mean, TV shows, you look at Hulu, Netflix, these are all platforms I literally studied hours. I mean, hundreds of hours on to understand what they're looking for. They want celebrity. They're they're looking for people with millions of followers and and they want to work with you to create it that really caters to their audience. And give one example, Stranger Things. You know, when that came out, you look at it, there's one scene that literally that had to be paid for. That scene was when they were having a, a Lego, Ego, or like the, the breakfast food. And literally, like there was a whole conversation about it. Now, I'll tell you, <laughs> they paid for that scene. And so it's really market driven. How do you fund the show? How do you get the funding for it? So you got to think about that. A lot of things comes down for any show is where are you going to get the funding? Who's going to fund it? Who's going to pay for it? And, and so looking back into if somebody wants to get this started – for one, start building your audience. You know, when we, Samantha and I in 2018, we traveled the country, we filmed the show, and we had no network deal. And we were literally going as we were going. And so as you're creating the content for the show, also document your journey. So many people want to wait. Oh, once the show's out, we're going to do this. 
No, we were filming everything along the way. We were doing Facebook Lives. We were doing Instagram stories. We were posting videos. We were creating content and constantly showing people what we were doing because it takes a long time before people even know what you're doing. Like, hey, they have busy lives. So constantly be showing your mission, showing what we're doing, and documenting it. And while you're documenting it and sharing what it is you want to do with this show, the right partners are eventually going to reach out over time. People reached out and said, hey, Brandon, how can I get involved? Well, how would you like to be a sponsor and pay 10 grand to be a part of this? Or, hey, Brandon, like I have this connection with this network. How would you like to introduce? Awesome. And then you make that introduction. And and it's it's a numbers game. Literally, the more that you're putting yourself out there, the more um, just presentation you are sharing with the world, the more opportunities that will come to you. And when they do come to you, follow up with them. And then you never know where they may lead. Like, I always have the intention like, hey, my show's going to be on Netflix or wherever. We shot for that, but it ended up being where we're putting on Amazon Prime. Be open to other ideas and opportunities that come to you and don't just be all focused on one thing because sometimes there's a reason why it might not go that way for you. So I guess I'd say is really show the world what it is you want to do and make progress, little milestones along the way. And what will happen is the right partners will come out and help you and know it's a long game. It took me to get to this point from start of idea. We were actually in Puerto Rico. Uh, I, yeah. I remember telling you about this when I came up with the idea for Success in Your City TV show. And we just released in theater two weeks ago the first episode. So that took two years and it was like three or four months to get it out. It took that long to film everything and get to the point where it's ready to release. It's not going to happen in six months. It takes time. Fire Nation, these things take time, but there can be a huge payoff in the end. I mean, because Amazon knows my viewing preferences and I've like watched a lot of documentaries on business and different things like that. I can remember logging into Amazon a while ago and then seeing Brandon's show right there and just being like, oh my God, like that is his show. The concept that was born in Puerto Rico. Now there it is living in Amazon for the world to seek, which is super cool. Now, let's be honest because a lot of people are like, well, this sounds pretty expensive and it's not free creating and running TV shows. So how do you recommend people start the funding process of the production of their show? To be completely transparent with you, uh, this time around, this is my third time around for a TV show, I, I was pretty obsessed with it. It, it. We put about a quarter million dollars into this show to the point, and half of that was just me putting my own money in because I love the idea of doing this show. Uh, but if not many – well, honestly, hardly anyone's going to do that. I'm a little crazy. But if you want to go do your show, if you want to go create something, what you need to do is figure out who's going to be watching it, who are the viewers – What do they like? Figure out – you always talk about your avatar. Who's your avatar? And once you figure that out, find other companies that want to get in front of the avatar. So once you know that, you go to them, have a strategic plan in place, say, hey, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're creating, and we're going to get in front of X amount of people. And just know like even if you don't get on a major network, there's the power of social media. Yeah, you can put something on Facebook and you can plug ads into it and you can reach X amount of people. There's YouTube. There's all these other platforms. So give them the numbers. What's the best case, worst case, mediocre case and and show them, hey, here's who we're going to be in front of. Here's how we're going to mark this. Here's where we see the opportunity for you. Here's your deliverables. And in return, this is where your money is going for. So when you let them know that, what they're going to do is for them, it's like, hey, I want to be a part of this, especially if they believe in your vision. They're going to give you the money because they know the money is going towards a good cause. And they also know that they're going to get exposure because some of these companies, I mean, they have a lot of these. They have a, a marketing budget specifically for things like this. You just got to find that person, that gatekeeper, the person that gives the, okay, we will give you 10 20, 50 grand to be a part of this or, or to film this. So who is your avatar? That would be the first step. Who is it that's going to be watching your show and then find other people who are looking to get in front of the avatar? Now, this is a kind of dirty little secret in the media business, but it's really true. And you can really take advantage of this when you know this Fire Nation. But 
these companies all have these specific budgets that they are given for a year. And guess what? If they don't use their entire budget, then the next year the board looks at it and says, well, you didn't use the budget, so obviously you didn't need that much money, so we're going to actually shrink your budget a little bit. So everybody like tries to use their full budget, maybe a little bit more, so they can go and maybe try to increase their budget for the following year and so on and so forth. Like Nobody wants to be given a smaller budget. So like right now, I'm having companies reach out to me that are looking to book sponsorships for Entrepreneurs on Fire in 2020, but they're like, can we just pay you now? Like, because we need to like, you know, kind of finish out our budget for 2019 and make sure, you know, that we're on E by the time 2020 January rolls around. So we get a full refill. So you can really take advantage of that and reach out, um, you know, to companies and kind of even word it in a way of saying, you know, Hey, looking for a way, you know, to spend the rest of your budget in like a really meaningful way. Here's a great way to do so. And so, I mean, we've taken advantage of this many times to great success. And it's just a way that you can utilize October, November, December, like really Q4 of any given year to put extra pressure on these companies. And then honestly, <laughs> Q1's an amazing time too, because everybody has these fresh budgets and they want to make a big splash now. They want to make a really big splash. So they're going to be able to go in and go big. So Q4, Q1, those are two great times to really ramp up your conversations and get people in the door. Now, let's be frank and share with Fire Nation that they can be the star of their own show if they want. That's absolutely a possibility, but they don't have to be. So how would you recommend they go about finding talent and stories they can feature on their show if they're just looking for places to start there? Yeah, I mean, first reach out to your inner circle and and the people that let people know, hey, here's what I'm looking for. Here's the kind of story. And quite honestly, I mean, it it's really simple. And people say, oh, like I can't find the right story or whatever. Heck, do as simple as a Facebook post. Like, hey, here's what I'm looking for. Does anybody know anybody? Cobb it blow. And I've, I, can, I don't know how many times where I've done just a simple Facebook post and people are willing to share like, hey, this is a person. You should do this. And and one thing, too, is with a TV show, it does attract a lot of people. Like, you know, as a podcast host, you're saying how many people want to come on your show. For me, as a TV host, and I've done podcasts as well, so many people want to share their message. So they will come to you. But really just – Ask around, hey, where's the story? And know exactly what kind of story you're looking for. And once you know what that is, just tell the world, hey, this is what I'm looking for. And you're right, John. Like not everybody's going to do their own TV show, and it's not right for everyone. But if you're not going to do your own show, I will at least say at the minimum, if you have a business, if you want to stay in business and not have your business go under, if you want to stay alive, you're going to have to do some kind of content on social media with video. By sharing what you're doing, how you can help people, because right now that's where all the eyeballs are going. That's the medium. Video on these platforms like the LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Stories, Snapchat, everything that we've worked on and, and, and do on a daily basis, that's where the eyeballs are going. I don't know where it's going to be in five years, but I can tell you now that's where it's at. So get over the fact that, hey, I don't want to be in front of the camera. Get in front of the camera, share who you are, how you can help people, and share your journey in life because ultimately that's what people will track to. They attract to who they like, trust, and know. And how do you build that like and trust with them? Yes, you can do that in person meetings, but that's not always going to happen. The best way right now to do it is to document your journey on social media through video. They will see you, and that will ultimately lead to more opportunity for you and your business. Fire Nation, Brandon is not done dropping value bombs. In fact, after the break, we're going to talk about the most feasible distribution channels, how we can benefit financially from creating our own show, and why it's actually so important to have your own show in your industry in 2020 and beyond, and so much more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. We're all striving towards different goals. Maybe your goal is to get out of debt or quit your job or take your existing business to the next level. Regardless, you're just one funnel away from accomplishing your goal. And with the one funnel away challenge from ClickFunnels, you can get that one funnel live in just 30 days. Here's how it works. Join the one funnel away challenge at eofire.com slash funnel. Every day you'll receive a mission to complete, each mission being a step in the process of creating, building, 
building and launching your funnel. Get ready to rock your funnel with a trifecta training approach, daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. Complete the task given to you every day for 30 days, and by the end of the 30 days, you should have a funnel that is live and ready to generate leads and sales. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel and get daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. That's eofire.com slash funnel. Want more freedom in your career so you can spend more time doing the work you love? We speak from personal experience when we say that teaching online is an incredible way to help get you there, and we do it all on Thinkific. Thinkific is the best platform to create, market, and sell your online courses. In fact, it has helped us welcome over a 1,000 new members of Podcasters Paradise, plus deliver the best user experience to our existing members, and that's only the beginning of what's possible possible with Thinkific. Whether you've got a book, blog, a podcast, or are running workshops, an online course can help you grow your reach, generate game-changing revenue, and share your expertise at scale. We've looked at a ton of other options for creating online courses, and we chose Thinkific because it's easy to use and they have the best support team. And right now, you can sign up for one month free on Thinkific's most popular plan, Thinkific Pro plus leverage over $1,000 worth of training bonuses, visit thinkific.com slash fire and start building your online courses today. That's thinkific, T-H-I-N-K-I-F-I-C dot com slash fire. Brandon, we're back. And before the break, I was teasing a few things we're going to be chatting about for the rest of the show, specifically the most feasible distribution channels to distribute your show and actually be seen. What are those? Yes. I mean, so there's YouTube out there. There's Facebook. You know, Facebook is actually a great platform. We put one of our shows on Facebook and we did it with uh, Apple TV as well. Um, we did the Live to Grind show, which went on Apple TV and Facebook. And and really all it is is for Facebook, obviously you can upload, you can have a specific page for that. You pin it to the top of the page. Heck, do targeted ads and you can drive traffic right to it and there's your show. I mean, if you have a, a, a great production show, like people are still going to watch it. There's Facebook watch. There is a verification process for that, but that's one way. How is that by the way? Like that kind of came out with a big buzz. I know Lewis did a show there yeah. that was pretty short lived, but like what's the overall like current late 2019, early 2020 deal with that? Yeah, so it's funny because in 2000, I think this was 17, when Greg and I got Ambitious Adventures on Facebook Watch. And I got thinking about it. I remember talking to her, well, you introduced me to Joel Com. Yeah. And and Joel and I were talking and and I'm like, how do you get on Facebook Watch? And Joel's like, well, Google it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and so I literally Googled it and it said you can submit for verification to, to get on there. And, and so instead of uh, us submitting, which, you know, we could have, and we probably could have had the chance to get on, but what we did is Greg and I had, we were distributing through the entrepreneur network. And so we had them submit from their platform and within like five days or a week or something like that, we were on Facebook watch. We were among the first people on Facebook watch, which I thought was amazing. And, and we had, when we would do this, we would actually do when we, we'd launch an episode at a time and we would do a, a showing. So we would launch it. We're on the Facebook watch page. We'd have, I don't know how many people are on there that we had that liked our page. Greg and I talked about the show. It was a live stream. And then we went right into the episode and heck, I think one of them, we had, I don't know, a couple hundred people live as wow. we were releasing it. Yes. And so that was a great way to get ourselves out there. And I still today, I mean, this three years ago, and I mean, people are still coming up to me and they, they watch that show. And, and so that's just one outlet, you know, and today I, again, I haven't submitted a show there for a few years. So I imagine what I would say is like anything else, Google it, find the submission form, submit, show why you have the credibility and ability to create a great show and put it on there. And if they like it, you look in the future, um, they might come to you and say, hey, we, we want to help produce more episodes, which they do. I mean, Mike Rowe has a show on Facebook and he's getting paid good money to go travel the country and film a show. And it's exclusive for Facebook. So it is an opportunity. Do, what is my belief on it? Here's my thoughts on Facebook Watch. I feel that 
us as viewers are not quite ready for the experience of watching a high-end show on Facebook. And maybe that's a personal preference, but from a lot of people I talk to is watching a show on Facebook. I mean, there's sometimes I'll go on it, but for me, my preference is, hey, when I do watch shows, which isn't very often, and if I do, it's really me analyzing to how I can perfect my own shows, is Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon, the main platforms. And the same for me goes for YouTube. I, I still can't, when I think of YouTube, I think I DI do-it-yourself projects and, and motivational videos, but I can't. One time I tried to actually sit down and watch a show on YouTube and I went three minutes in and nothing. It was a high quality. It just felt weird watching it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Like I remember watching the karate kid on YouTube and yeah. I was like, this is pretty cool. But at the same time, I was just like, you know, it's not like what I'm actually sitting down to do. Like I was just checking out to check out. So in summation, just kind of rip through the most feasible distribution channel so we can really lock that in for Fire Nation. If you really want to get your show out there, you have the ability to go on, you have Facebook, you have Apple TV, you have YouTube. Those would be the really easiest ways to get out there. And you know, you look at all these big actors or people at shows, just know they, they're they like 10, 20, 30 years success in the making. They started out doing that kind of stuff. I mean, well, Jake Paul, I'll give you an example. This kid started in Ohio, him and his brother Logan, and they started creating videos in their backyard. It took Jake four years to get 4,000 followers. Now he's at like, I don't know, 15 million all around. But most people don't know, like he created videos nonstop and it took four years for 4,000 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. And he kept with it and now he's off doing pretty big things. Now let's talk about benefiting financially. So what are some ways that we can expect to potentially benefit financially if we have our own show? A lot. And that's why after, I mean, I loved being in front of the camera, but after my first show and getting out there, I saw the financial benefits of it. I'm like, dude, I need to keep doing this. It, I will tell you, it's instant credibility. Uh, having a book is credibility. But when you have a show uh, in a high production show that you put out there and people know you're a TV show host and, and it's like airing, that is another, it's like another level of credibility that really is like, the people may be more likely to hire you versus somebody else because you have the show. And for me, it's led to a lot more speaking opportunities, getting paid to speak, high speaking fees. It's led to mastermind coaching opportunities with groups to be able to train them. And because I have my own show, for me, it makes it a lot easier. Like I, I coach or mentor people on how to become great in front of the camera, how to create their own content at a high level, maybe not a show, but create content. So for me, that's what it's led to. But I will tell you, it, it really elevates your brand to the gods. It ta takes it to another level that makes it a lot easier to close opportunities. And and for me, it's it's closed speaking deals, it's closed coaching clients, it's closed advisory deals. I've even gotten stock in companies, all because I was a TV show host and it was actually out there. So those opportunities are out there for you. And a quick example, if you wanna, I'll give you a chiropractor example because I filmed with a chiropractor on this once. If you're a chiropractor and you create your own show showing everything you're doing with uh, adjusting people and everything, like you're the expert chiropractor because you have your own show. If you're a real estate agent, we actually did this with somebody. If you're a real estate agent and you film your own kind of show, come on, if you're looking to buy or sell a home, are you going to go to the real estate agent that has their own show or are you going to go to the real estate agent that doesn't have their show? It's a credibility thing. It's It just one-ups you on your competition. Fire Nation, we all need that one-up in this very competitive very saturated market. And I can tell you firsthand experience, I get 400 applications for Entrepreneurs on Fire on a monthly basis. One of the things that always jumps out on a page on the few people that can honestly write this down on that application is that they run their own show or they're on a TV show or what that might mean. Because I just know what that takes and what is involved and that this person's in it to win it. They're in it for the long game. They are really going all in on this. And that's what I want on my show is for people to go all in. So Brandon, we talked about a lot of awesome things today and we're going to kind of catch up in a couple minutes here about where you're at, what you have going on. But before we do... What's the one final key takeaway you want to make sure that our audience gets from everything that we talked about today? Yeah, I'd say the key takeaway is, I mean, whether it's video or anything else, get, get your story out. It, you know, you may be the best at what you do, but if people don't know about you, how do they know to hire you? And constantly be sharing your message. And the way I believe the best way to do it is through video um, and not even, let's say it's a TV show, but creating video content and publishing it. 
And what do you share? You share who you are, what you do, how you help people, bring people into your life, show when you're going on an island, show when you're heck, sometimes working out in the gym, share inside your life a little bit, maybe showing you have kids. Because what happens is when people see this, they see a bit of themselves in you. When they see a bit of themselves, they can relate with you. And when they can relate with you, they're more likely to go to you versus somebody else. And even if it's not video, still share your story. It could be a book. It could be a podcast show. These are all things I utilized early on that really helped. Share who you are, your mission, and your goals. And what that will do is allow you to attract the right people for the opportunity. I promise you, all of you out there have a powerful story to share. It is your duty to share it and it is your duty to get your knowledge out to the world because there are people out there that need your help, that need your expertise so you can help them change their life. So share with the world how you can help them. Brandon, value bombs galore. Thanks for sharing that. Give us like a one minute update about where you're at in the world today, like what you have going on. Give us any kind of call to action you have for us, Fire Nation. Then we'll say goodbye. Yes. So my wife and I, Samantha Rosine, we 2018 traveled the country and filmed the TV series Success in Your City. So for one, you can go and watch our show on Amazon Prime where we really go around the question, what is success? So we feature stories of success. The first episode is Shay Hillenbrand, played for the Red Sox, yeah. lost everything and came back. And so being able to see that success story, then we have a real estate team, we have a violinist, we have a country singer, we have women, like we have all these different success stories. For one, you can go watch that. And we actually did some even tangent. When we launched the show, we launched our book called The Road to Success, which it really talks about more about the success stories, but also inside the life of Samantha and I as we did travel the country. Hmm. In 2018, we drove 50,000 miles in our Tahoe. We went through hundreds of cities. We went through 43 states. We lived in six cities. We sold our house. We sold most of our things. I sold two businesses and we got married all in this 12 month span. <laughs> so we share what we learned from that. So you can find all that out at our website, successinyourcity.com. But as you know, like I talk about social media, Hey, connect with me on social media. I connect with everybody. And Instagram, I don't know what yours is, but Instagram is my favorite platform right yeah. now. Um, Instagram, just find me on my stories, Brandon T. Adams. Brandon T. Adams and Fire Nation. It's a worthwhile story to watch. Those 12 months of Brandon just getting out there with his wife, making it happen, 50,000 miles on the road, selling two businesses, getting married, living life, doing the thing, having all the dreams happen, having all the dreams shattered and then building them back up again. I mean, this is real life. This is what we're talking about today because for me, the theme of this episode is document. It's time for you to start documenting because you know Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and you've been hanging out with BTA and JLD today, so keep up the heat. And head over to eofire.com, type Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, in the search bar. His show notes page will pop right up, along with the other episodes we've done in the past together on Entrepreneurs on Fire. Listen to all of them. They were fun. They were great. And Brandon, thank you, brother, for sharing your truth with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's value bomb content was brought to you by Brandon and you know, Fire Nation, that I've created a treasure trove. I mean, a literal treasure trove of free courses for you. I teach how to podcast, run masterminds, funnels, come up with your big idea. All you need to do for these completely free courses is head over to eofire.com slash resources. eofire.com slash resources and start learning today. I'll catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flippity flip side. Thinkific is the best platform to create, market, and sell your online courses. And we speak from three years of personal experience. Right now, you can sign up for one month free on the Thinkific Pro Plan, plus leverage over $1,000 worth of training bonuses. Just visit thinkific.com slash fire. Thinkific.com slash fire. The One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels supports you from day one through day 30 to help you get your funnel live in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel.